Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you some linear algebra questions. Actually, uh, how to solve the equations like um, these kind of questions using Gauss elimination methods. So first uh, we have some questions here. I'm going to solve it one by one. Let's see. So here we go. So the first question says use course eliminated method to solve the following system of linear equations. So the question says x plus y plus c is equal to 2 and x plus 2y plus c is equal to 3 and the third one says 2x plus 3y is equal to 2c equal to 5 right so the final answer is 1 minus c x should be 1 minus c 1 and c is going to be c so i'm going to show you how to derive that answer so first of all uh, according to Gauss elimination method, uh, if it's x value, it should the below value should be zero. So it should it should be like triangle. So first x x zero zero, then y uh, y uh, y y y zero, and the third number we have to find it. Like we have to zero like make it equal to zero. Like first period zero zero, and like that. I'll show you how about step by step. So to make this equation zero. Let's try this again. X plus Y plus C is equal to 2. And X plus 2Y plus C is equal to 3. And the third one, I'm going to start from the bottom. So to make this one 0, what you have to do? I'm, I can multiply the first equation by negative 2 and add it. So let's say negative 2 e1 plus e3 so if I multiply the first equation by negative 2 and add it we, I get 0 and for the y value negative 2y plus 3y is going to be y y and if I multiply negative 2 by c and negative 2c plus 2z is going to be 0 so this is 0 and equal to negative times 2 is negative 4 negative 4 plus 5 is going to be 1 so we found this and now uh, our way is to x 0 0 and uh, y y 0 so it's better to switch this one on top we can swap it so it's may, it will make, uh, make it easier so I'm going to swap this one x plus y plus c is equal to 2 x plus actually I'm going to swap it so the second is going to, so it's going to be 0 plus y plus 0 is equal to 1 and the third one, I, I want to make that one zero to the first x value zero. So to make the x value zero, I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative and add it to the third equation. One plus e3. So what happens is, e1 plus e3, mm, when I do that, I will get a negative x plus x zero. Mm, negative y plus 2y is going to be y and uh, negative negative c plus c is going to be 0 and negative 2 plus 3 is going to be 1 so according to the, the, uh, this information it gives two equations give the same answer it means it means it have infinitely many solutions. 
so if we have cases like this what we are going to do is we are going to write this in this form first so x plus y plus c is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 so in this case we call the whatever the first number first letter of the thing is p wet p wet leading of leading whatever the thing is p wet so if it p wet uh, whatever the like if x is p wet y is p wet so c is coming behind p wet so this is the only thing that is not p wet so we have to write the answer this is we call free valuable so we have to write the answer in term of free value uh, free variables so let's see so we know y is 1 already and um, we have to find the x value x plus inter instead of y I'm going to put 1 and set is going to be c is equal to 2 so x is going to be equal to 2 minus 1 minus c so it's going to be 1 minus c so this is I wrote the x in terms of c so that's what we have to do because c is pre variable so we have to give everything in terms of c so first is x value x value is 1 minus z y value is uh, 1 and z is going to be z so it's 1 minus z 1 and z that is our final answer we got it right so I, I have done the first question and the second question let's move to our second question so I'm going to move the new one and the second question use cost Ghost Jordan elimination method to solve the following system of linear, equa linear equation. So, in Ghost Jordan elimination method, uh, this is uh, three three variables and three equations. Right? So, in this case, we have to get an equation like this: zero one zero uh, zero zero one. This is our final goal. So let's keep this in mind, and we are gonna we are gonna solve this question. So let's first write the question here. Uh, question is gonna be what? Okay, x plus x plus y plus c is equal to one, and two x plus y plus c is equal to 5 and 3x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 6 so this is our equation and we are going to write it in matrix form 1 1 1 2 1 one and three two two and these values are going to be one five six one five six and uh, now we have to make everything zero so let's begin by the first one 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 two one one five I'm going to make the third one zero so in order to make the third one zero I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative 3 and add it negative 3 e1 plus e3 so if we add negative 3 plus 3 is going to be 0 uh, negative 3 plus 2 is going to be 1 and negative 1 and negative 3 plus 2 is going to be negative 1 again and negative 3 plus 6 is going to be 3 so that's how the answer is going to be and uh, now I have to make the second equation 0 at the same time 
at the same time i'm gonna do one more thing uh, this one i'm gonna make to make this into positive so if, if i make this positive this is gonna be negative and i'm gonna make the second equation zero minus 2e1 i'm gonna multiply the first equation by minus 2 and uh, add it to second equation to make the first variable zero e2 so it's going to be 0 uh, minus 2 plus 1 is going to be minus 1 uh, minus 2 plus 1 is going to be minus 1 and uh, minus 2 plus 5 is going to be 3 so actually we are getting two same answers <coughs> because if I swap as same as I did before 0 1 1 3 0 1 1 3 so this means this solution uh, this equation has infinitely many variables so what we can do is I have to find the free variables too so I'm gonna write only the two equations because the third one is same as the third second so I don't have to worry about this 0 1 1 equal to 3 so we call the first one p vets and whatever the remaining is free variable so this is free variable if x and y is p vet c is free variable free variable so we have to give the answer in term of free variable so let's try it in a normal form x plus y plus c is equal to 1 and uh, y plus c is equal to 3 so i have to give everything in terms of z so first uh, to find the uh, i don't have to worry about z because it's going to be z and uh, to find the y value y value is going to be 3 minus z and if i apply this one into first equation x value we can find the x value uh, 3 minus i instead of y i'm putting 3 minus z uh, plus c equal to 1 so I'm going to expand it x plus 3 minus z plus c equal to 1 so what you can say c z cancels so x is equal to 1 minus 3 minus 2 so minus 2 the answer is going to be minus 2 uh, 3 minus z z let's check if this is answer yeah hmm, we made a mistake right there okay <coughs> that's a mistake let's see so this y is equal okay Zero. okay actually this one is going to be minus three minus three minus three oh we got to be careful guys minus three minus three so therefore what's the, what happens here minus three minus three minus three so this is going to be plus so one plus three is going to be four right four so x is equal to four Four, three minus c and z so this is our final answer so consider the, um, the third question I'm consider the following system of linear equations and find the x y x and y such as the system has no solution so the only situation the system has no solution is when the system has three things zero 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 and we have a number right here so in order to get that the x value should be 1 x is equal to 1 and uh, so if 1 minus 1 is 0 and it shouldn't be 6 then only we get a number here so if we get something like that it definitely has no solution so that's why they have given x is equal to 1 y is not equal to 6 and the second question is asking find x and y such as that the system has infinitely many solutions so in order to get that uh, infinitely many solutions 
the system has to have zero in both like we have to get zero in uh, everything if you get everything zero it's definitely a system with infinitely many solutions so in order to get that x is equal to x has to equal to one and y has to be equal to six and the third question asking find x and y such the system has unique solution unique solution so unique solution mean um, the x shouldn't be zero because if we get zero and number here no solution zero and zero here is infinitely many solutions so to get unique solution it should shouldn't be equal to one and it can be this one can be any number so that's why they have given it shouldn't be zero and x shouldn't be equal to one and y is any real number all real number and the, the next question i was uh, asking use coast jordan elimination method to solve find the old solutions of the following system of equation so i'm going to use the ghost jordan for this one let's see what happens So the equation is given x1 minus x2 plus 5x3 plus 2x4 equal to 0 and 3x1 minus 3x2 plus 16x3 plus 7x4 is equal to 0 and the third one is minus 2x1 plus 2x2 minus 4x3 plus 2x4 is equal to 0 0 right so I'm gonna write it in matrix form 1 minus 1 1 Sorry, it's five, it's five, it's five. One minus one, five, two, three, minus three, sixteen, seven, and then minus two, two, minus four, two. So all of them are zero, zero, zero. So to do the Gauss Jordan, you know, we know that uh, it should be one, zero, zero. Uh, 0 1 0 uh, 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 finally at the end uh, everything should be 0 I guess so that's how we have to do so first of all uh, let's do this let's make the bottom one 0 to make the bottom one 0 I write this one again 1 minus 1 5 2 0 3 minus 3 16 7 0 to make the bottom one 0 what I have to do is I have to multiply the first equation by 2 and add it to the third equation so 2 e1 plus e3 is going to be equal to uh, 0 minus 2 plus 2 0 and uh, 2 times 5 10 10 minus 4 is going to be 6 and this one is going to be what 4 plus 2 is going to be 6 equal to 0 so let's go for the next one this is two things are 0 already let's make this one 0 3 0 so 1 minus 1 5 2 over and so to make this one 0 I have to multiply the first one by negative 3 and add it negative 3 e1 plus e2 so if I multiply by negative 3 and add it 0 and it's going to be positive 3 0 and negative 3 5 negative 15 plus 16 is going to be 1 and uh, negative 3 negative 6 0, 7 1 1 1 uh, 0 0 0 0 0 6 6 
So actually, if you see the pattern, um, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 is 0, it's same thing because if you multiply the second equation by 6, it's the, the gonna give us uh, third equation. So it's same, it means this one is, this one is almost, almost parallel and it has almost, uh, almost co coincident and it has infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solution I mean we get we can eliminate the third equation altogether. So what we can do is now I'm gonna do right just write those two equations one minus one for two zero zero one one zero zero. So in this case uh, we only have two equations and Actually, we do we can't eliminate anymore. Like we can't make it this one zero. So what we can do is uh, we can find the pivots, these leading numbers of pivots, and whatever else uh, we call free variables. So there are two free variables right here. This is a free variable, and this one is also a free variable. So let's write this in normal equation x1 minus x2 plus 5 x3 plus 2 x4 equal to 0 and don't forget guys we have to give the final answer in free variables like related to free variables we can't give it in pivots form right so don't forget guys that's what we have to remember and this one x3 plus x4 is equal to uh, 0 so we don't have to care about x2 and x4 because it's going to be the same variable x2 is going to be x2 x4 is going to be x4 so we have to find out we have to find out x1 and x3 so x3 is easy you can use the second equation to find the x3 x3 is going to be equal to minus x4 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug plug this x3 into the first equation so instead of x3 I'm gonna write minus x4 right that's how it works let's do it and see what happens x1 minus x2 plus 5 minus x4 x4 and uh, plus 2x4 is equal to 0 so what happens is x1 minus x2 uh, minus x4 plus x4 is going to be minus 5x4 uh, plus 2x4 is equal to 0. So it's going to be minus 5x4 plus 2x4 is going to be minus 3x4. x1 is going to be minus x2. Uh, minus 3x4 so if we move it to the other side it's going to be what x2 plus 3x4 so we found the x1 so let's write it x1 x2 plus 3x4 comma x2 comma x0 x3 x3 minus x4 uh, comma x4 let's see this is the final answer we got here so first one is what uh, x2 plus 3x4 so 3x4 plus x2 same thing and uh, x2 is x2 and minus x4 is minus x4 x4 so we got it perfect so we found the final answer and next question they are asking solve the following system of linear equation or oh, solve the following system of linear equation so let's see what we get here <coughs> so x plus uh, y plus z is equal to 2 and 2y minus z is equal to 4 and x plus 
3y is equal to 5. So what we can do, let's uh, arrange it in an uh, easy ML result. So what we can do is, uh, first of all what I'm going to do is, I'm going to swap because uh, since we have to get rid of the x in the first place, the second equation has got rid of the x already. So which means we can swap that equation for the third equation and we have to care, we can care about the second equation first, right? Two, and uh, I'm gonna swap it. So when I swap it, I get the x plus three y uh, is equal to five. And in the third one, what? Third one, what am I doing? Uh, yeah. Uh, 2y minus c is equal to uh, 4. So for in the first place I am going to make this one 0 and let's see what happens right here. So to make this one equal to 0 I have to do what? I have to multiply by that one by negative, first equation by negative and add it right. So negative e1 plus uh, e2 is going to give us what? Uh, negative x plus x is going to be 0 and negative y plus uh, uh, 2, 3 is going to be 2y and, uh, and negative c plus uh, 0 is going to be negative c and it's going to be equal to what? Uh, negative 2 and negative 2, 5 is going to be 3. So if you notice it carefully, 2y minus z is equal to uh, 3 and 2y minus c is equal to 4. So this is something weird because uh, we can't say 1 is equal to uh, x is equal to 4 and uh, the same x is equal to 5. Uh, it means 4 is equal to 5. We can't say that, right? Uh, so which means this is contradicting with the real equation. Therefore, the system has no solution. So that's the uh, that's the answer. The system has no solution. Let's move to the next question. So uh, this is all the following system of linear regression and they have given whole bunch of numbers right here. So let's put it and find what I what we can get it right here. <coughs> so the first thing is what three x one plus 3x2 plus 12x3 is equal to 6 and x1 plus x2 plus uh, 4x3 2 and 2x1 plus 5x2 20x3 equal to 10 and the final one is what negative x1 uh, plus 2x2 uh, plus 8x3 equal to 4 so we have got four bunch of figures and all bunch of numbers right here so what we can do is uh, let's eliminate it by one by one so the, before I do that what I'm going to do it I'm going to swap this equation so when I swap this equation, what happens is our life becomes better. So first, I'm going to swap the second equation to the first uh, first place and first place equation to the second place. So x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 equal to 2 and 3x1 plus 3x2 plus 12x3 is equal to 6 and the third one is going to be what? 2x1 5x2 plus 20x3 is equal to 10 and the final one is minus x1 plus x2 x2 uh, plus uh, 8x3 is equal to 4. So this is what we got right here. 
So the first uh, first and last one, I, I can directly add it and uh, eliminate the X1 all together and find the uh, make the final one zero directly. So which will make our life easier. X1 plus X2 4 X3 2 3 X1 plus 3 X2 plus 12 X3 is equal to 6 right? 6 2 X1 plus 5 X2 plus 20 X3 is equal to 10 so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the e1 and e4 first to eliminate the x1 to make it to 0 so that's what I'm going to do 0 right here and if I add uh, x2 plus 2 x2 what happened 3 x2 And 4x3 plus 8x3 or 12x3. And 2 plus 4 is what? 6. So the, we made the final one 0 successfully. So let's move to the second, third equation. x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 is equal to 2 and 3x1 plus 3x2 plus 12x3 is equal to 6 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the third equation first variable 0 since I have to do that I have to do what I have to multiply the first equation by negative 2 and add it to the third one so then the first variable which is variable will be 0 directly so that's what I'm going to do right here. 2e1 minus 2e1 plus e3. So 0 and uh, what? Uh, uh, minus 2x2 plus 5 is to what? 3x2. And uh, minus, uh, minus uh, 4x3 minus uh, 8x3 plus uh, 20x3 is gonna give us what? Uh, give us what? it's gonna give us 12x3 so 12x3 and the final one is gonna be minus 2 times 2 4 uh, 4 plus uh, minus 4 plus 10 is gonna be 6 that's it then final one I'm gonna copy as same as it is 0 plus 3x2 plus 12x3 is gonna be 6 since we got rid of the uh, last one and the last one before now we are moving to the second equation I am gonna make that one 0 too so to do that I had to do one thing here I have to write the copy the first equation as as, uh, as it is, as same as it is, and 4x3 equal to 2. And to make the second equation for square was 0, what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this one by negative 3 and add it to the second equation. So minus 3 e1 plus e2. So since when I add uh, but uh, minus 3 plus 3 is gonna give us what 0 and uh, minus 3 uh, x2 plus uh, 3 0 and minus uh, 12 plus uh, 12 over 0 and uh, last one but uh, uh, minus 3 plus uh, 6 is 0 so all of them are 0 0 0 0 0 so forget about the guys so since we have this one and uh, these two are equal, we can say this system has infin uh, infinitely many solutions. Since we have infinitely many solutions, I'm just gonna go copy the one more equation, and uh, the next time I'm gonna do, do, do only two equations.
because infinity minus always I mean the other all the other equations are gonna be same so we don't have to consider everything so we have to forget everything else and we just pick the two equations and solve it right that way our life will become easier so the first thing is I'm gonna pick x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 plus uh, x equal to what 2 we will do what 2 and the uh, second equation is going to be 3x2 plus 12x3 is going to be 6 equal to 6 so since we have this equation what we can do is we can find the pivots right here so leading values are going to be the pivots so in this case the first pivot is going to be x1 and the second pivot is going to be x2 since x3 we have nothing else to do we call it free variable so according to this information what we can do is we have to write all the x y z value in pivot uh, in according to the free variable form so since uh, we have these two x1 and x2 we have to find it in free variable form so what we can do is first uh, it's easy to find the x2 because x2 has only two variables two unknown variables so we can write it in terms of three variables so 3x2 is plus 12x3 equal to 6 so uh, 3x2 is going to be what 6 minus uh, 12x3 right and x2 is going to be what 2 minus uh, 4x3 because I divided this 2 by 3 so 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 12 divided by 3 is what 4 4x3 so x2 is right here we found the x2 just the next one we have to find it x1 so in, in to find the x1 what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this equation and in terms of x2 I'm going to plug the value we found it here right in the bottom so we can directly find the free variable x1 in terms of free, free variable right so instead of x2 i'm going to copy the same 2 minus 4 x3 right here and then what i'm going to add it uh, add the 4 x3 and it's going to be equal to what c is equal to 2 equal to 2 so since we have this complicated uh, thing in the middle, we have I'm gonna expand it to make it make our life easier. X1 plus 2 minus 4x3 plus 4x3. Uh, X1 plus 2 minus 4x3 plus 4x3 minus 2. So uh, if you look at it carefully, plus 4x3 minus 4x3, 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 4x3 cancel. So it made our life easier. And minus 2, plus 2, minus 2 cancels. Plus 2 minus 2 cancels. And is, which one is equal to what? Equal to what? X1 is equal to what? X1 is equal to 2. So the, this one, this one cancels. This one, this one cancels. X1 is going to be equal to 2. So now we can write the complete things. 2 comma 2 minus 4 x3 and x3 is going to be what x3 is going to be x3 so let's see this is the answer we got right here so 2 minus 4 x3 is so instead of x3 they put uh, c so we can write uh, this one as x1 x2 x3 or x y z there's no wrong answer for this so x y z x1 x2 x3 whatever the way you wish to put it you can put it so we solve this equation successfully. <coughs> so let's move to the next question. The next question asks uh, use course you and elimination to solve the following system of equation. So let's do that. Uh, Goes elimination. So instead of I'm copying the question, I'm directly going to put it here because we have seen so many ghost Jordan elimination method already. So I hope you guys got some ideas about this. So instead of writing the whole thing, I'm going to just put the ghost elimination uh, matrix forms uh, directly. 1, 1, minus 2, 2, and 1, 3, 
minus 1 is equal to 4 and 2 or 1 minus 5 5 so since we have this uh, weird number right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bottom one zero. To make the bottom one zero, I have to one one minus two, two, one three minus one four, and the bottom one, to make the bottom one zero, what I have to do is I have to multiply the first equation by negative two and then add it, right? Negative two e one plus e three. So which going to give us what? Zero, negative two plus uh, one is equal to negative 1 and uh, negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to plus 4 plus 4 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 1 and uh, negative times uh, negative 2 negative times 2 is going to be minus 4 minus 4 plus 5 is going to be 1 so since we have found this one right here so according to the course order we had to achieve the uh, three uh, three things that's 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 right so to achieve that next one we are going to do is we have to make the second uh, equation zero. The first value of variable of second equation is equal to zero. So we have to do that. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, repeat this equation right here. Right? Two and uh, the first one is going to be negative e1 plus e2 is going to give us what zero. So that's the that's what I'm going to do right here. Zero and negative one plus three is what two, and negative negative two is going to be what positive two, positive two plus uh, negative two one is equal to what one, and uh, negative two plus four is equal to what? two, and the third one if you see zero negative one negative one one, so instead of keeping the keeping the negative one as it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into positive. So in order to turn it into positive, I have to multiply the whole equation by negative. So in, when I multiply the equation by negative, it's going to be positive one, positive one, negative one. So we successfully uh, eliminated all thing and made everything zero, right? So the second second uh, second column. We have to achieve that zero. This would be zero one zero. So in order to do that, first equation it has one no one. It's no problem. The second equation it's two, and the bottom one is zero one. So in order to make our life easier, what I can do is I can swap the third equation into second equation. So in with this way, uh, I don't have to make the second equation one because if I swap it, it's gonna be one. And so all I have to do is I have to make the third one is equal to zero and find the Gauss Jordan elimination method. So to make our life easier, I'm going to swap it. One one minus two two zero one one negative one and zero. 2 1 equal to 2 so since we have got this one right here what I am going to do is I am going to start from the bottom we started from the bottom do you know that you know that right so we started from the bottom so to make the bottom one zero what I have to do is I have to multiply by the second equation by negative 2 and add it So uh, 0, 1, 1, negative 1. And to make the bottom 0, I have to mm, multiply the second equation by 2, uh, negative 2, and add it to the third equation, right? So 0, negative 2 plus 2 is going to be what? 0, and uh, negative 2 e2 plus uh, 1 is going to be what? negative 1 so 0 0 negative 1 is going to be equal to uh, negative 2 into negative 1 is going to be positive 2 positive 2 plus 2 is going to be what? 4 so 0 0 minus 1 4 since this one is like this one here so first first what I am going to do is what is the first equation 
in the first equation we had to achieve the second uh, variable of the first equation is equal to zero right so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the same thing negative e2 plus e1 which is going to give us the second variable of the first equation is equal to zero so let's do that negative e2 plus e1 so in this case one is going to be same like this and negative one plus one is what zero and negative one plus minus two is what negative three and negative negative one is going to be what? positive one positive one plus two three since we have that one right here zero everything is going to be same like that and the, in the final don't forget guys if we find something negative one or something like that we can turn it into positive as soon as possible because that way our life will become easier <coughs> so 0 0 1 is equal to negative 4 so I found this one and let's uh, let the, the third one for the third one we have achieved that um, that uh, the variable should be 0 0 1 right so in order to do that uh, what I can do is First of all, first of all, I can multiply the third equation by three and add it. That is the easiest thing I can ever I can think of. So let's do that. So I'm gonna multiply the third equation by three. So three e three plus e one. So it's gonna be what? 0 times 3 is going to be 0, 0 plus 1 is 0, 0 times 3 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 1 times 3 is going to be 3, and 3 times 3 plus minus 3 is going to be 0. So 1, 0, 0 is going to be what? 3 times uh, minus 1 is equal to negative 12, negative 12 plus 3 is what? 9, negative 9. Since we got this one right here, so I'm gonna instead of writing again and do it, I'm gonna directly do the second one too. In order to second, in order to this, uh, to make the second third variable of the second equation equal to zero, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the I'm gonna minus the third equation, like minus e three plus e two is gonna give us what zero one zero. So that's what we want. So in this case, minus e three plus e2 it's going to give us what 0 1 0 and uh, minus e3 is going to be plus 4 plus 4 plus uh, minus 1 is going to be what 3 so 0 0 1 and this is our answer our answer is going to be x is equal to minus 9 y is equal to 3 and z is going to be minus 4 let's see we got it right here minus 9 3 minus 4 perfect we are on our way and the fi final final question is asking mm, use gauss elimination to solve the following system of equation so gauss elimination method so gauss elimination means uh, we can do it matrix form or whatever the form we like uh, let's do it as it is so let's copy the question x plus y plus c is equal to 3 and x plus 2y 2y plus 3z is equal to what 4 and 2x plus uh, y is equal plus 2z is equal to 1 since we have this one right here the bottom one we have to make it the bottom one 0 we started from the bottom do you know so c3 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 4 and to make the bottom one 0 what i have to do is i have to multiply the first equation by negative 2 and then add it so negative 2 e1 plus e3 is going to give us what is going to give us 0 and negative 2y plus y is going to be what negative y 
and negative two z plus the two z is gonna give us what zero. So since this z equation is uh, negative two times negative three negative two times three is gonna be negative six negative six plus one is gonna be negative five. So we found this one and let's move to the next one to find next one x y plus z is equal to three and to make the second equation zero what you have to do is we have to multiply the first equation by negative one then add it so to do that i am going to write it negative e1 plus e2 so since this one negative plus uh, uh, negative x plus x is going to be zero uh, negative y plus 2y is going to be by y and negative z plus 3z is going to be negative plus 2z uh, plus 2z plus 2z is going to be equal to what negative 3 plus 4 is going to be 1 so since we have achieved this one right here uh, it's going to be negative y plus 0 0 minus y so what i'm going to do is uh, since I am too lazy to make the final one zero and uh, do all these and that's the thing so we have to achieve that uh, in order to do the Gauss elimination method we have to uh, achieve the triangle zero method so in order to do that I have to uh, I can swap the second equation to first equation let's see what happens right here so x plus y plus c equal to 3 and then uh, uh, it says the uh, negative y is equal to negative 5 so in the, since the, the both one negative 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 get rid of the negative so in order to get rid of the negative multiply it by negative and make it positive so we always be positive so y is equal to 5 so that the last one is going to be what uh, last one is going to be 0 plus y is about y plus 2z is equal to 1 the the thing we have to achieve it we have to eliminate this y and get the only z one z so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i have to multiply the second equation by negative then add it to the third one so since uh, we only have y in the second equation it's my, our life will become much easier to achieve this one so minus e2 plus e3 is going to be what is a negative y negative y plus uh, y is going to be what negative y plus y is going to be 0 plus uh, nothing to do nothing else to do 2z is going to be equal to 2z is going to be equal to negative negative 5 plus one is going to be what negative four since we have this one right here and two z is equal to negative four so therefore z is going to be equal to what negative two z is negative two y is five we are going to apply both in the first equation so x plus x plus five minus two is going to be equal to three so five minus three three so x is going to be zero so let's see the final answer should be oh, oh, oh. What, let's see what happens right here okay um, so x plus y is c is equal to oh, oh, oh. so since i got one three right here so here they got five i got this one three that's why it's giving different answer but we did it right so as long as we have the right answer we are done so i hope you guys enjoyed this and entertained a lot i hope you guys enjoyed and entertained and thank you for watching see you next time